Dude, 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 bro. Bro and dude, all in one. The inclusive. This message is for Teddy. I've been doing these like personalized video messages for people that I care about because I'm probably the worst at responding to text messages unless you're uh, my wife or um, Kenneth or let's see who else, my mom and my roommate. Damn it. So I'm wearing a Netflix shirt because the laundry isn't done and I don't have any more clothes to wear. But hey, that's beside the point. This message is for Teddy. I know that I am like the worst at responding to texts, as you're probably well aware of. So I wanted to give you this personal message just to let you know that I'm thinking about you. I love you. And it doesn't just because I'm terrible at responding to text messages doesn't mean that I dislike you or that I'm ignoring you. Um, it, it's just hard for me to keep up with all those text messages all the time. So I feel like a more personal conversation, a more one-on-one -on -one is a lot easier for me to do. And this video message isn't exactly a one-on-one. -on -one. But it is more personal because you can hear the tone in my voice. You can, you know, know that I'm not being sarcastic when I say, hey, man, I really appreciate you. Instead of, hey, man, yeah, I really appreciate you. Or um, that I, you don't hear any passive aggressiveness because there is none in a personal, personal message like this. So I made this video for you to let you know that I'm thinking about you, I care about you, and I want things to be well for you. I know that the ship has been kind of stressful for you. It sucks a lot of the time, and it doesn't seem like you're having a good time when you're on there because when you are on the ship, it's when I do want to talk to you, it's even worse. I mean, and I'm like, hey, man, I really can't talk to you because ship has terrible Wi-Fi and no calls, no way to really communicate with you, which sucks. But, hey... You'll get this because you're not working right now. You're home. So you'll get this message and you'll know that I'm thinking about you and care about you. I, I think that one of the greatest moments and one of the greatest times in my life is when you came out to visit. It was so much fun. And I know that you had to go to work with me a few times. And uh, I, there was a lot of times that I was away and being busy. But I had such a good time being around you and going to Moab. And Kenneth was a cool host to have around. Even when things got annoying, like the car not working. Which, by the way, I still have that car. It works great now, but I also bought a new car. So I have two. I have a new car and my FJ. And I don't really drive the FJ any anymore because it's such a gas guzzler. I couldn't afford... I mean, I could. I just I don't want to pay gas on that thing anymore. And my new car payment equals about about half of what I spent on gas in the FJ, about half of that money I use just for my car payment because it's so much better on gas. It is a little tiny car, but hey, you know what? Uh, you I, you got to do what you got to do. Just cut some corners and save some money. Uh, this is the new place here. That's uh, My room is over there, as you can see, right there with the max and stuff. Actually, if I point this way, it points in the right direction. That's my room. I have a friend over there, his name is Mocha, he has that room over there, and this is kind of my living room. This is my office area right here where you see me at. I have a big desk thing that kind of covers this whole area, and this is where Jess does her art and crap, and then this is where I work. I'm actually sitting in her spot right now because she's not here. <laughs> um, and Jax is still here, he's doing well, he's in bed right now because he got in trouble and I was really mad at him. But hey, let me show you something, because you're a music guy, you might find this amusing. I probably do this more times in a day than I should, but I taught Jax a song. His It's now his favorite song, because every time I play it, it means like, hey, you're being really, really good. You're gonna go for a ride and stuff. And here's the song, it's that M83 song, Midnight City. And when I play it, I guarantee he'll run out here and get all excited, because he knows the song. Watch this.
so funny. Good boy, Jack. Come here. Stop being so itchy. Are you a good boy? And I sing it to him. Loves this song. Oh, buddy. So he knows that as his. That means he's being good. And then when I play that song, it means he's being good. Which he actually wasn't being good a little while ago. He kept barking at stuff. He was barking at the sound that my speakers are making on the computer. Say hello. That's Teddy is watching in there. He's he's in there somewhere, all the way across on the internet. But he's watching. He's watching this video. Oh, man. Teddy. I love Teddy. I love you, buddy. And you too, Jax. You're all right. But Teddy is dreamy. Oh, so dreamy. So he left. Hey, stop doing that. Stop doing that. Go to bed. Please. Can you go to bed? No, don't shake your head. No, let me go to bed. At least he doesn't jump on my bed anymore. I really don't like it when he goes on my bed. But anyway, um, I just, man, I miss you. I can't wait to see you at BLFC. It'll be such a good time, and and we'll have fun. So looking forward to it. Uh, if there's anything you need that I can help you with, just give me a shout, man. I want you to be well. There's not much I can do, but I can try to do some things to help you out. So let me know and um yeah man it's great uh sending you this message and hopefully i'll hear back from you maybe you'll send me a message or something but anyway it's time for me to go and finish up this laundry and get on with the rest of the night so have a good one man